As the courts take up this issue, so are the campaigns. Democratic candidate for Lieutenant Governor Leticia Vandepute has a new TV ad out. It focuses on abortion and rape and goes after her opponent, Republican candidate Dan Patrick. We're taking a look at claims in ads leading up to Election Day, and we're trying to help you sort out what's true. KXA investigator Kevin Schwaller has the in-depth look at this new ad. Now, I understand there's some people have a difference of opinion on rape or incest. No, rape is always rape. But Dan Patrick would deny victims of rape any options at all. At issue, Dan Patrick's stance on women's health issues. Now, I understand there's some people have a difference of opinion on rape or incest. No, rape is always rape. The way Leticia Vandepute's campaign presents this clip is misleading. A campaign spokesperson contends the video shows her Republican opponent, Dan Patrick, seems to belittle the issue of rape and incest. Still, it leaves out the context that Senator Patrick was actually talking about abortion in this comment. Here's more of that clip from a recent debate. I understand there's some people have a difference of opinion on rape or incest, but that child is still born in the image of God and is still a living human being. But Dan Patrick would deny victims of rape any options at all. The claim paired with the text on the screen is mostly true. When asked at a debate about abortions in the cases of rape and incest, Patrick left the door open on one option, saying the only exception would be if the life of the mother was truly in danger. He voted against funding to test the backlog of rape kits, allowing rapists to walk free. That's misleading. The first part of the statement is true, but misleads viewers to think Patrick did not support Support money for rape kit testing. Patrick did vote against the state budget bill as a whole, and that did include money for rape kit testing. It also leaves out that Senator Patrick voted for a bill concerning the very rape kit standards that got this money. Ultimately, the budget passed with the testing money, so the claim that this vote is allowing rapists to walk free doesn't hold up. The ad ends with opinions and promises. These are not minor differences. Dan Patrick is just too dangerous. I'm Leticia Vandepute. We need to respect women and their families. As Lieutenant Governor, I'll fight for you. Kevin Schwaller, KXAN, investigates. And you can view our fact checks for other candidates on our website, kxan.com. We want to give you more perspective on where the candidates stand on the issue of abortion and the Texas restrictions. You heard some of Patrick's stances. He also voted for the HB2 abortion restrictions. Senator Van de Pute voted against the abortion restrictions in HB2. She said she supported the abortion ban after 20 weeks, but wanted exemptions for rape and incest. Senator Van de Pute has also said she believes HB2 limits access to health care and that is never the responsible answer.